Why? Why do I even try to do this to myself? Fucking October. Welcome back to Supreme Fuzzler. Or Spooky Fuzzler. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> do that. Ah, oh, I had a little bit of <clears throat> throat pain really going on right now, but don't care. We are doing, obviously, from the name as well as the Outlast right there, we're playing Outlast. We are doing our scary game thing. I... Oof. So we're, we're Resident Evil 7 and Alien Isolation and even and Evil Within are all like in that same frame rate, frame frame game where I can fight. Like in Resident Evil 7, I got a gun pretty fast. Not fast, but within the first video. And then Evil Within, although I didn't get a weapon there, I knew I would get a weapon soon, sooner or later because I'm a policeman. And Alien Isolation, I know that while uh, you can't really kill the alien, you can get, I think it's a flamethrower eventually. <clears throat> This is a game where you can't fight, and fighting, not being able to fight, is hard. And is scary. <sighs> Real scary. But that's the appeal, obviously. This is the the blueprint for almost all the current horror games. Like, obviously Amnesia really did it, but this one is the one that like solidified that this is the style of horror that the er next era of horror games are going to do. So, <clears throat> let's continue. Let's go with it. So, Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. E excellent. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. Pray for me. You will seek the dark... He will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. See, that's what shit I don't like. <clears throat> you do navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are run, hide, or die. Excellent. <clears throat> how wonderful. Let's get into one of the scariest games ever. I don't know how long I'll be able to play because I straight up can't even handle like. Hmm. I've gotten kind of far in this game. Radio. Oh shit, the subtitles on? Come on. I don't remember. Oh, well, my radio cut out, so whatever. Oof, atmosphere. You think I sleep in a great atmosphere? Damn, this game just gonna set me the fuck up. Whatever, radio. I don't need you. Is because I'm really high, or is that actually being jammed? I don't remember either. <clears throat> so totally high, bro. <laughs> Sorry. So, you don't know me, have to make this quick. You might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult, consult and Markov psychiatric systems, facilities in Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Non disclosure agreements. Terrible things happening there, don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had people that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Markov is making money and needs to be exposed. So, it's been a while since I got involved in that last game. At least the first one, especially it's lore. But, so, it's in the mountain? The spirit that... I guess it was a spirit, right? That they end up utilizing? Dream therapy, though. I don't fucking know. 
Cool. Cool. My notes are in. And that's closing. And it's closed. Okay, and documents are in J. Okay. And it makes that sound every time I do that. How wonderful. Let me in. Anything? No? No? Okay. Later, computer. Cool. Click the last button. And open. Cool. Oh. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down and... Amid scandal in government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009, under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly, abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. So yeah, it is. Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disgusting profit charity, but never on American soil. Okay. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has been has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Fair enough. Cool. Creepy motherfuckers. Oh. Okay. Creepy wind. Lightning and storms in the distance. Military armored trucks. Okay. Front door doesn't work. Just fuck. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. I don't save you. <laughs> jump. That's obviously the way. Thank you. God, this fucking place sucks. Why am I here? Oh, why do people like scary games? This is the worst. Stop, ambience. God, I know the game a little. That kind of gives me a little bit of not fear. Don't do that. What's the point of that? Oh, that shit. Oh, hi. Ah! Okay. Okay. We never did it with a headset on either, and that's a little extra scary too. Huh. How do they have paintings of that fucking place? Cool. We cool. We cool. Cool. Ah. Weird. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. No one fuck with me. Fuck with me yet. Battery. Cool. Yeah. Reload. Yeah. Only, um, night vision. Fucks your battery. So let's just. Cool. Cool. We good. Document. I guess we'll. I guess I'll check it. Oh. Oh, it's Project Wild Rider. It's Billy. Why is this information just sitting on this guy's desk? Interesting claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states, morphogenic engine uh, activity observed at unprecedented scale. Let's continue. Stage four hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed no bronch bronchial accumulation. Had a hematocrit. Centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. E e Fuck, man, I suck. How you are, son? MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and NREM cycle. Laughter in REM, st in REM state. Ooh. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger, the only Dr. Traeger company records one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD, all order lines and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved if we include analytical biometrics. Okay. Wall Rider. <laughs> that lock. 
Oh, I did. Alright, you, 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 you do you in there. Hmm. Why am I here at this point? That? That's a story. And that information I just got? That's a story. Okay. I'm not really... Oh, there you are. Are they all being tortured by him? I don't remember why they all talk about him. Other than he's like the... Freer or whatever. We're cool? We're good. Library. <gasps> Bodies. This is a story at this point now. Unnecessary game. It's really loud. What up, bro? <laughs> ah! Jesus, I forgot you did that, Captain. They killed us! All the different whole heads. They got out. The variants. What the variants? You can't fight them! Oh, yeah, you told me this. I, I understand this. The game told me to the main doors from security control. I'm dead. How are you talking? You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Dude, I know. Do that? Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Bodies everywhere, blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar, dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their, Mur <clears throat> their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Okay. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. Okay. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop. Pin like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. True enough. True enough. But he told you how to get out. Alright, we're doing good. I'm not scared yet. I don't know if I ever noticed that before. But he's right there. Or at least went that way. Bathroom? Hand. Okay, so he was there. Definitely don't go that way. Fuck. There's no way he gets over here that fast. Little fuck! Ah! I convinced myself he couldn't get there, even though I fucking knew he could be there. Who are you? I don't fucking know. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm miles up, sure. Oh, I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. I'll try. You have a calling. Oh, fuck. Escape the asylum. Oh, cool. I can see the. Okay, okay. Alright. I'm alive. You're not. Document. Yeah, check that out. Blah, blah. In the matter of seizure of the massive psychiatric center. Affidavit, having been made before the board of directors by Markov Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We have satisfied that the affidavit and testimony establish sufficient, sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MSH, MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents by acceptance of this document and any surviving relative the document you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp 
or its subsidiaries for actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. Damn. Okay, so we didn't do it. Okay. Okay, down there. Got in. Okay. Well, I'm already beat to all hell, all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp, couple cracked ribs. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. Wow, bro. Throws me through a raw, knocks me unconscious. And I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an al alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There were scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them for, for my benefit. Awesome. Ew. Go grab this. Wait. Yeah, battery. What? Hello? Are you here? Oh my god. One moment. Okay, I did. I thought I didn't. Whew. Didn't thought I didn't press play. Not recording. And that was the scariest thing of all. Fucko. It's supposed to make you. Yeah, door's closed. We're fine. Oh, that's right. Shit. Just a key card to get in there. Fuck. I'm going here. Don't fuck with me. Please. Dead man. You need a document. Okay, dear sirs, the full report pending no immediate actions required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. Profit potential of Project Wildwater remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities can mean enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Excuse me. Project Wildwater remains a dangerous initiative, and there will be almost certainly be further casualties. Damn. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low. <clears throat> wow. That's going to make any chance of legal actions vanishing unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic and gene therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven sufficiently effective to ensure continuing control and profit. Really? This situation seems that. Mm mm. Yeah, fuck that guy. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now let's go find a key card. You in here. Using up the batteries, but I got a lot now. Just kind of looking for a document now. Make sure I don't miss it. <clears throat> hmm? Ah, see? Shit. Patient initial CLW Walker. Morphogen inactivity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm, unsafe to regress beyond stage 3. Okay. Spire mentry reveal light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consist with patients reported dreams. <laughs> Excuse me. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Restraint has had to be altered to accommodate his enormous ex size. Oh, it's that guy. Extensive dermal eruptions is consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tuatara uh, lizards and their parietal par par eyes. What the fuck? He's expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending or lines should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while we're serving in Afghanistan 
No. Seems to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a maniac exaggeration of the military security protocol. Continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Interesting. I actually have never known that. So he just fucking... Because he's ex-Afghan vet. He just thinks... Fucking... It's consistently needing him military police level shit. Oh, fuck me, man. I'm believing in you. We good? Yeah, we good. Thank you. Oh. Um. Notes. Prior broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survive whatever happened in here, but nobody's home. Okay. Damn, that guy got fuck Jesus. Jesus. Wait, okay. You know, I never read the, the documents as much, so. It's morphogenic shit that's going on? Interesting. It's not what I thought. Fuck off, I'm here. Okay. Give me the key card. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I gotta go back through there. Hopefully no one fucks me. What? Oh, it's alright. Oh. He seems alright. He's alright. Everything's fine and dandy. We're all good in the hood. How far in this video can I get before I say fuck this and play a different game? Ah! Get them out! Please! Get them out! 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 We're okay. We're okay. We're okay, right, Miles? Alright. Fuck me. Fuck this. Let's go to the fucking security council. Get the fuck out of here. Security control. Oh, yeah? Why would I need that? Son of a bitch. That means. Oh, well. Alright, I got the key guard. I'm in. What up? Hi. Oh, lockers. Cool. Sweet. Um. What was that? Just in case. Alright, let's do it! DOS box. Oh, yeah, is that easy? Just type in security? No, 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 no. Oh my fucking god. They lie. Oh, that's right. So, okay. This motherfucker, essentially because he's a military man, is after this shit. What up, bro? Oh, I got a note. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood of this place is on his hands. Is on his hands, but not all of it. Fair enough. Don't fuck with me, man. either. I never thought about that. Go away, please. Okay. Okay. Be gone. Are you are you gone? Oh, it's 
cherries in the basement, right? Fuck, that sucks too. this next one. Ah! Alright, we're in the basement. whoop de fucking do Cool, we went through a gap. Now that bastard can't find us. Now I have new problems. What's up? 1954, hypnotic experiment and research work was continued in Building 13. Excuse me, mass massage of a reserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Post hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Peace with Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to waken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And, failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to wake. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened to express complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the to pick up or accept from the operator. He expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Okay. What's that have to do with this? Electric room. Oh, I can bolt over things. Who's there? Who's there? <gasps> Who's there? You know what? Fuck this. I, I'm I'm too scared. I'm sorry guys. I, I I've gotta stop. Holy fuck, I can't even Holy shit. That's dark. Fuck that, man. Sorry guys. This is Spooky Fuzzler. I doubt I'll continue an Outlast playthrough. I am planning to do an Outlast 2 one shot clip video just like this, at least. Maybe all three of you, but I doubt it. Whew. That one's a little easier because outside just feels better in terms of the fear, even though the fear is exactly the same. This is just... Whew. I just am a little scared of the dark on, on a level that is like, what the fuck going in there? I'm not doing it. Thank you for joining me. This was Supreme Buzzer. Have a good day.